Hi, Mike from the Rural Montana family. Another beautiful day in Montana. Well, not really. Cloudy today, kind of sucks, but <laughs> what do you do? So we have another few days of cold and uh, so I decided to do something with the bolt again in the cold. What we're doing here with the bolt today applies to any uh, electric car, regardless what brand it is. But uh, it's a little test and I gotta uh, ask you to use your imagination. No, it's not hard, you can do it. Today, it's a little chilly out again. This morning it was one degree Fahrenheit, that is minus 17 Celsius. And uh, it was cold yesterday, not as cold. It was a few degrees warmer. Um, I believe it was like four degrees yesterday. So not much of a difference. But anyway, um, what you need to imagine today is that you're on a road trip. It's late in the day. It's winter, it's cold, and you're getting to your destination, maybe your hotel, but there is no charging. But your car is down at 20% or so. Now what do you do? The charger is a few miles this direction, your hotel is a few miles that direction. The charger may only be a level two, so it would take at least an hour to get 10%. Even if it's a DC fast charger, well, you maybe could make it because you would only have to sit there maybe for 15 or 20 minutes. But you're tired, you wanna go to bed. But everybody told you, you cannot leave your car sitting at 20%. It's gonna kill the battery. Is it true? Is it gonna kill the battery? Is the car not gonna start in the morning? Hmm, that's what we're trying to find out today. And by the way, if you're a Tesla owner and you probably roll in at 20% or less and you uh, stop your car, put it in park, you probably get a message that will say, we recommend or we highly recommend that you charge right now because if temperatures drop, your battery state of charge will drop even more and blah, blah, blah. So they really try to scare you. <laughs> so anyway, um, the bolt been sitting here for, let's see, uh, yesterday we drove it, the day before we unplugged it, okay? So the day before yesterday, the car was unplugged, it was at 75% of charge. Yesterday morning, we drove it um, about 30 miles. It was sitting for about three hours, we drove it back 30 miles. And then I actually vacuumed the car and I had the doors open and the car was on heat was going and state of charge dropped down to 20% yesterday afternoon. And that's how it's been since. We didn't plug it in, nothing. And it's been sitting here since yesterday afternoon at 20%. It got way colder overnight. Yesterday afternoon, I think it was just below freezing, probably like uh, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and it got really cold overnight. Now it is, uh, I think about six or seven degrees again. So it came up a little bit. And yeah, it's been sitting here. I haven't even touched it yet. But uh, well, we'll get in the car and uh, we'll see what the state of charge says. And then we'll drive it. See if it even still drives. Maybe the battery is broken now, who knows? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but this is a something that could be happening to you if you're traveling in the winter time where you, yeah, maybe not get to charge one night and you're at a low state of charge. This is real life that happens and people are, I think personally, they're way too concerned about things like that. Um, if this happens once, I don't think it makes a huge difference, but maybe I'm wrong and maybe the car is dead this morning. So let's see. And what do we see? It still shows 20%. Huh, 
and well the door opened the dash is on so i think i think it works look at this i think the car is not dead so let's press the power button oh press brake to start <laughs> should have done that huh that may help let's try that again Ice possible. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. It's not just possible. We're sitting on several inches of ice. Well, let's turn this radio off. All right. Still shows 20%. No problem. Car fired up. No problem. Can't see too much in the backup camera. It's a little dirty. <laughs> but here we go. We're rolling, so it still works. Driving out of our carport here. Trying to stay away from the trees. There we go. All right, so what can we see? We can see on the right side of the dash, right there, this little line. That is a regeneration restriction. Other than that, nothing unusual. Let's put it in L as always. And let's see how it does. We're just going for a short drive. Just to prove that cars don't die. Even if the battery is only at 20%. And how does this look down here? interesting color on this road here <laughs> this is actually the dirt road and it got snowed on again so some of the brown from the dirt mixed in with it and they put gravel on it because it got cold and freezing but anyway oh look at that we just dropped to 15 so that said, when it shows 20%, we're somewhere between 15 and 20. And it really does not matter if it's 16% or 19%. I mean, this is very minimal. But anyway, so we don't notice anything here in regards to having a propulsion restriction. We seem to have full power available for acceleration. Let's go around this turn here. Oh, now there's oncoming traffic. I was gonna speed up here real quick, but maybe not. Maybe we'll wait to the hill there and see how much power we can get out of this. All right, so let's see if we can accelerate here a little. Lose a little traction there, but no big deal. So we were able to pull easily over 100 kilowatt out of this thing. No problem, so there's no restriction there. Ah, I thought this car should be dead. That's what people tell me. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna go up here. Just to that. There's a turn off coming up up here. That's where we're going to turn around. I don't wanna go very far. <laughs> it's just to prove that electric cars can do it in the cold, even if they're at a low state of charge. And even if they're not plugged in, it just works. They're not breaking. They're not dead. Does it hurt the battery? No, not this one time. If you do this all the time, yes, maybe. But probably nobody does this all the time. It's not even cold all the time probably to do so. Oops. Let's see here. So let's get reach in there a little bit and you can see it goes down to the line where it's restricted at and it's just not going to go any further because the battery is cold that's just what it is until the battery warms up um, we won't have full regeneration so being plugged in would have helped that said if i would have charged last night but, oh look, charge vehicle soon, really? 
Uh, so anyway, if I would have charged the car last night and then let it sit overnight again, the battery would have cooled down anyway and we probably would have a regen restrictions no matter what. That said, if you would have been driving till late at night and come out about 10 hours later, it may not be as bad as it is right now because uh, your battery started out warmer. This battery started out pretty cold to begin with. So, but yep, um, we're somewhere between, it shows 15%, so we're somewhere between 10 and 15%. But it drives just fine, no problem. So we're going back home. Uh, there's no sense in going any further. Uh, proof is in the pudding, or proof is in the in the bolt. Bolt has proven that electric cars work just fine, even at a low state of charge. There's a little bumpy going up our driveway here. So anyway, um, yeah, if you would be DC fast charging so if you would have chosen to not charge at night and you want to go DC fast charge right now um, you may get a restriction just as we got a regeneration restriction you may get a charging restriction because the battery is cold and so it may charge slow at this point, you know, around 15, 20%, it will probably uh, get the full 50 kilowatts, but because the battery is cold, you may only get 25 or so until the battery warms up a little bit. All right, this was just a quick winter test again, but again, uh, no problem. Uh, electric cars just work even in the cold. So you can definitely even park your car at 20% or so overnight. It's not gonna die, even if it's a Tesla. Tesla people for some reason are always extremely worried. No, it's, it's not gonna die, okay? It's gonna be there in the morning. It's gonna be just fine. You get in it and you get it charged. Uh, you can take it to a DC fast charger or you can do use a level two charger, whatever doesn't matter if you do a DC fast charger it would just charge a bit slower until the battery warms up so in a bolt that would extend the charging time quite a bit in a Tesla as you're driving to the supercharger it would actually start to precondition uh, the battery and the supercharger having lots of power uh, would warm up the battery relatively quick. Relatively quick means it would probably take 15 minutes or so on a lower charge until the battery is warm. While on the Bolt, I don't know, it's a, it may take a little longer to get this battery up to full speed. Um, depends a little bit. I'm actually not sure. I never tested it with the Bolt, but I know with the Tesla it takes about 15 maybe 20 minutes um, to bring the battery up to temperature to give you full blast. So, but yeah, cars work, electric cars work just fine in the cold. So, and no, this did not damage the battery. If you're doing this one time a year or whatever, maybe even two times a year, it's not gonna kill it. There are so many electric cars out there that are exposed to all kinds of conditions extreme conditions like this and now the battery is gonna be just fine your car will be going for years to come in any event please give us a thumbs up for this video if you haven't done so yet please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos thank you for watching goodbye